You may be aware of some new features from Midjourney, Runway, and Leapix. Well, this video is going to show you how to use them to make better AI movies. Let's start with Midjourney's new in-painting feature, Very Region. I've been storyboarding a video I'm working on that I want to be as good as a real Disney movie. And to do that, I'm going to need characters that look similar shot to shot. Well, Midjourney makes that pretty challenging. And in this case, the professor I have looks about 20 years younger than my other photo of him. But Midjourney's new in-painting feature can help me change this characteristic and match the other photo better. So when you upscale a Midjourney image, you click Very Region and select an area of the image that you want to give a new prompt to. You choose between a square or a lasso tool and capture the area, just the area you want. So what I'm going to do is use a link to an image of the other professor who has gray hair. And then I'm also going to type in gray hair in my prompt. And now what I'm going to get is shots to choose from that follow the gray hair prompt and look more like the other professor. And this lets me continuously work with the same character across multiple different scenes throughout my movie. So as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. I can do things still like modify parts of his uniform or modify facial features like his nose. But for the average viewer, this is probably enough for them to believe it's the same person as the last scene. Now in other images, I did get the gray hair right away, but other fine details in the background didn't match other shots. So first, I'm going to modify his badges to make them the color of other shots, which was red. So I'll just put in a little prop there. Then I'm going to get into the background. And now I'm going to bring Midjourney some more reference images of the kind of background that I'm going for. If you don't know how to do this, make sure you watch my other animation video, which will show you how to copy an image address and paste it into a prompt. So we're going to paste those links into my very region prompt and now it's going to know what kind of background I'm looking for. Now you're probably going to have to use very region a few times per image to get it the way you want. There's going to be objects in there that you don't want to have. Make sure that you highlight them and find a way to remove them in the prompt whether you see blank landscape or replace it with something else. And now what I'm going to do is make it a bit more of just a pure forest background since that better fits what's already in the image but also fits the previous shots that I have. And now the professor's background is going to fill with my other scenes. One last thing I want to show you is adding very specific objects. So I want to add a crashing spaceship in the distance here, but I want a specific look to the fire coming off the ship. I want it to be very clear that it's about to crash. So I'm going to separately generate an image of the style of crashing spaceship that I want. And I'm going to copy the image address for it so that I have the link that I can paste into my very region prompt. So now I'm going to use very region to highlight the part of the image where I want to see the crashing ship. And then I'm going to replace the existing prompt with the link to the image of the ship that I've already copied, paste it right in there and add a basic prompt to be sure Midjourney understands what it is and that it's actually a spaceship you're putting in. So you can see it's definitely not perfect, but there's a one-to-one -one mapping with the color of the fire that's been carried over here. So if you do a few more very regions or just a few more attempts in general, you can make it look more like the original spaceship. One last thing as we wrap up a mid-journey is you can use the composition of an image mid-journey already gave you to make your next image follow its patterns. What I mean by this is if I take the crashing ship and I highlight its regions and prompt it with a new object, which is constellations, I can use the original shot to create a star pattern in basically the same shape as the ship, which will give it an interesting look. Other artists have been using this technique to create optical illusions and very interesting works. So to recap, Midjourney's in-painting can help you get consistency in your scenes if you match character attributes to other shots, match backgrounds, and match or specify certain objects. Another recent tool announcement was Runway allowing up to 18 seconds on Gen 2. And you can upload your image, click Extend, and can add 4 second increments to make a longer clip, as long as 18 seconds. But 18 second clips are very boring, so what are the right applications here? Well, most users are making mistakes right now at the editing level, so with a real movie, an 18 second single take can be super engaging because the filmmakers control the camera movement. Well, you can't do that with Gen 2, but what you can do is take 18 second clips of multiple shots and cut in between them to create one very consistent scene. So with 18 seconds, you also have a lot more leeway to speed up or slow down a clip to match other shots. So I'm gonna use multiple takes of a car driving from different angles, cut between these different perspectives and make it seem like one consistent drive.
So this last one is actually not a feature, it's a tool, but I've realized that Leopix is still pretty under the radar. So what it lets you do is create a depth animation, which makes a 2D image feel like it's moving in 3D. So first I'm going to use the depth map tool, and I want the inside of the spacecraft to feel separate from the outside. So what I'm going to do is be less sloppy than me, but I'm going to highlight the inside of the spacecraft so that I have a different foreground and background that'll make the animation start to show up here. And then I'm going to choose an animation style. In this case, it's going to be tall circle because that works best for my case, but you're going to want to play around with your settings and get an animation that's right for your context. Now the animation is much more still than Runway or Pika, so what I'm going to do is get an overlaid futuristic interface for Mid Journey, then I'm going to take that to Runway and animate it, combine it with my other clip, and then I'm going to have something that's much more animated.